Okay. And once you've released the hounds, the rings here, there you're taking off the bolts, the 12 millimeters. And go ahead and pick up on that intercooler here, kind of slide it forward. Slide it out a little bit, be easy there so you don't kind of damage anything. Okay, now we'll set this to the side. Okay, thus gaining an entrance to the radiator. We got one more fan to take out, and we got the top hose here to the radiator. Might not have to take that off, depending, because all I'm trying to do is get to that fitting down there so I can maybe get a good tighten on it. I might be able to get it from here now that I'm wide open. But anyway, if you're removing the radiator, I'm going to try and do my job. But if not, if you're removing the radiator, best thing to do, you take off, back up a little bit. These two bolts here, two bolts here. These brackets pop off here. You Then you go ahead and you, and you loosen off your transmission lines make sure you hold them up so they don't drain out everywhere and plug them with something there's two transmission lines one two you can take out and then there's the main those at the bottom to take off once you take in that fan the next fan off and the other line you just kind of wiggle it forward in the direction of the cab of the vehicle once it pops out, you'll be able to get it up out, out through here. You don't have to take off the nose or anything else or even the crossbar here, support bar. Then you could just slide it back down in there and uh, reassemble everything the way you are. Then again, I'm not a mechanic. I just, I'm, if I could take it apart, I know how to put it back together. But this might help somebody if they, they might be removing a radiator in one of these millennias. Um... Also, I did the coil packs and spark plugs on both sides. In the back was a bear because you have to really get down in behind all that. You got to take out a few things. You don't have to take off the supercharger, which some people say you do. I didn't have to. I was able to remove the wiring harness, the couple of plugs back there, a couple of little brackets, and I was able to actually get down in there, get spark plugs out, replace everything, and it's running a lot better. I just have this little transmission leak there, and I should be good. But, uh, and again, please like, guys, or if this helps you out, please. Thank you.